fellow, fellow preservationists. Uh, it's Nick here at Project 21F. Um, hope you're doing well. Hope you're enjoying the holidays. It's January 1st, 2023, a new year and a new outlook for our projects and hoping to make the most amount of progress that we can as quickly as we can so we can start enjoying our cars. I got asked the other day, what one thing um, am I the most grateful for deciding to buy for my garage shop um, and it's definitely my air compressor uh, I can tell you that I've done so many things with this uh, it, this is a uh, California air tools uh, 120c called a quiet compressor uh, which is basically means it's just really not as loud um, I made sure that I got one that had a separate engine from compression and I kind of read a lot of reviews and found that that company was really the most reputable with regards to reliability and usability. It's not very big, um, but I didn't really need it to be. I wanted to be able to move it around the shop if I had to, so it had to be fairly small. Um, and I wanted to be able to use it for a lot of things that I use uh, for this for. So uh, the air saw is definitely the one I've used the most. Um, and the angle uh, 90 degree uh, die grinder, which I use for just about everything. Uh, sanding, removing rust, um, and things of that nature. Uh, haven't gotten that far on the air chisel yet, but that's going to be when we start peeling back the front uh, inner and outer rockers. Uh, we're going to get to that pretty well and do a lot of that. The drill I've used, the socket wrench I've used, obviously for pumping up uh, tires and having accessible air compressor here at the house for the regular cars is fantastic. Basic cleanup and blowing away dust. Haven't got to use the crimper yet, um, but I do plan to, uh, depending on how the panels fit together when I start getting this going. Um, but I can tell you that although it is a significant expense, um, if you get a decent brand and you get a good brand of tools, they should last you forever. Um, so this is the thing that I found to be the most valuable um, expense within my project, getting set up and getting started and getting up and running, about a 25 and a 50 foot hose depending on where I am in the garage and where this is in the garage as far as being able to do things with it. Um, and I found that it was the best expense for me. So um, air compressors are number one in my book. I certainly appreciate the opportunity to be able to continue to do this project with your support and help. If you like this video and you found it useful, hit like and subscribe. It certainly helps the channel out. It doesn't cost you anything and certainly allows us to support each other in our efforts to be able to make these projects happen for us. So from Project 21F, this is Nick saying on to the next adventure.